Um, All right, we have a big article in Deadline. James Gunn has finally broke his silence. He did a very long interview. All um, right, look at this. Yeah, I can kind of I'd paraphrase because there are Please. Big, big quotes. But did he say anything about a big booty? Uh, Tom sister. That was part of all of this. How she had a big booty, and yeah. that's why I got Suicide Squad. Yeah, is no. there a, is it? there a character in Suicide Squad called the Booty? The Booty. Polka Dot Man, King this is a Shark, th- Big Booty, Haley Quinn. Oh, right. Big Booty. Big, big booty. Oh. It's uh, Tim Wilson. Tim and Wilson. He has passed away. Oh, oh, right. oh damn it. it! In his honor. Gone too soon. <laughs> damn it, Tim. Was Wilson. he like a country star somewhere, or was just a, an <laughs> online guy? <laughs> yeah, country star. Can somebody just? Uh-huh. Like That's a good answer. I'm looking him up. Tim Wilson. I, I, I love that song. Me today. <laughs> That's a good song. You're killing me. I want it with this wire. You're this like ripping wire. my ear holes. You know what? Here's the bottom line. The studio is a joke. <laughs> it is. You're correct. <laughs> Listen, I'm not saying it's your fault or yeah. my fault. I'm just saying as it's soon not, as I let go of the wire. It's not convenient. Yeah. It's not convenient. And this table's going to break someone's kneecap. And these like, mics are going to actually one day make me pass out. It's mm-hmm. a stink again? Mm-hmm. Uh, really? Yeah. Uh, yeah well. I was drinking my tea and so close to the mic that I was like, what's wrong with my tea? Yeah, it's tea. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. It's making my tea taste bad. Mm-hmm. All right. James Gunn. Paraphrase. <laughs> James Go. Gunn paraphrased that he it was Go. the worst day of his life. Um, and part of it was the best day of his life because of the outpouring of support. So that, you know, made him happy. He had a lot of anger at himself. And he decided to take all of it. He's decided to it, that there was nobody else to blame. Not the person that, that you know, threw the tweets you know, attacked him, not Disney, not Bob Iger, not Kevin Feige, not Marvel, anything like that. And so he just focused on himself and he kind of just let it be and just, I have to accept this and look at Disney as I look at my ex-wife. We're going to try to get along. I'm going to learn from that experience in my life and everything's been going to be great. Then he gets Suicide Squad and he's like, I'm so excited for this. It was I was able to just pour everything into the script. It was one of the, the, the best script writing experiences because of everything maybe that was behind me. And then he got that call and he goes back in and he's like, oh, this is just the reconciliation of like, hey, we're cool. No worries. And then he was offered and he cried. And he basically sat there right. and went, uh, what? And, right. So and it was, was much, so it was much of a up. shock to him. Yeah. I wonder, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 we'll never find this out. We'll never find this out. My guess is that if there was one person who was the big stickler on James Gunn, it was Alan Horn. That's That to me is, if he's Alan Horn... And and this is and this is not a shot at Alan Horn. This is just a this is just Who's Alan Horn again. Is he Alan a Horn is no no no. Alan Horn is he the, came the, over from Warner Brothers. He was the, right? he was the president of Warner Brothers, and he and he moved over. Um, and he and he's he runs. I forget what his official side is. It's basically him and Iger. Mm. Who Iger is the main guy, and then, gotcha. then there's Horn. Um, Alan Horn is like the. Typical like grandpa, like don't curse around grandpa. Don't he, mm-hmm. he's he's ba- he's banned smoking from movies, mm-hmm. uh, which I don't necessarily. Probably loves those Georgia Alabama laws. No, no, no. I don't. Uh-huh. I, I think he. I think he's a. I think he's a left wing uh, uh, guy. He's he's just he's just a typical like on the uh, sex strike. You mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, 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 no. I I, I don't think I'm, <laughs> not as far as politics go. I just think he's very con- he's conservative that particular way with okay. just old school rules and sure. he's, you know he's, yeah. You would oh my don't don't say the don't say the s word in front of grandpa right like that type of thing right. you know he's he's just and which is not a bad thing values a lot of values yeah. so he, i think that when all that kind of stuff came out from what i hear he doesn't like matthew vaughn because of the stuff that matthew vaughn's uh done in his movies and mm-hmm. he, that was a reason why matthew vaughn had a problem uh getting some movies done with with disney again rumors and speculation nothing confirmed um but i bet you that he was putting his foot down with james gunn for a while and then after all this kind of pressure of no no, no there's, oh, there's a lot of pushback i think he had to he had to crack and Iger was probably the one like alan we got to bend on this one we got to get him back i don't know M- maybe uh, yeah My, it's all spec- speculation what i'm wondering about is in that analogy that you just gave riley that he gave about the ex-wife mm. What are they now then? So are they trying to get married again, or are they working to get, or are they raising a kid together as ex parents? Do you remember the That's a good call? Do you remember the Parks and Recreation episodes where Ron Swanson would go back to Megan Mullally yes. and she was his craziest wife? Yes, <laughs> and, and the best. It, ju- it kind of feels like that. Yeah. Aren't Although they really they're, married? Yeah, they're really, yeah, married. They're really but married. But on the show, she was this insane person, and he was in love with her, and they would she go on these like, like love benders, yeah. and yeah. then it would, it, it, you know, like it would just go away right, kind of right, a situation. Right, right. I don't. I just whenever I think. 
think of ex-wives, I think of those those two on there. So yeah. I don't think it's like that. But No, I just uh, wonder in his analogy, what is the current status of their relationship? Is is it all good and they you know they right. they were on a month break and now they're back together and in we love? On let's, a break? Yeah, yeah, let's look at how long it took. There was a what, six months, seven yeah. months, eight months. So they were they were a trial separation. Yeah. You know, they were cordial and then they reconciled. Yeah, I just but are I they okay got back that together. He has a mistress now. Mm. Right, That's, you, you're crushing it, Roxy. <laughs> yes, I true. love that. Her it's name like, is right. Veronica. We have a great relationship. We have an and open not, relationship, open. and I'm not going to stop seeing Veronica. Yeah. Yeah, we I, will, I will try this again with you, but. I, think I, I know we're Roxy. reconciling, but we already booked a trip to Cabo. Yeah. Yeah. So I I'm going to go. I don't think they give a shit about yeah. about that. I think that it's on the other side of it. I probably, you know, to where Warner Brothers is probably like, well, that sucks, but we get it. And either way, you're still going to get press off of, uh, off of both of it because every time you talk about that he's coming back to Guardians, what gets mentioned? The Suicide Squad. So that's big publicity for them every single time you read an article about him or talk about or something like Roxy just said, the fact that he's got another mistress. What's the mistress? Suicide Squad. People are yeah. talking about it, so maybe they're not even that bummed about it. I think you, I think that the fans sometimes make it a bigger deal than it really is because as long as he gets to make the movie and it doesn't hurt, um, it doesn't hurt the production on either way, right. who gives a shit? It's just two different it's, movies. It's oh, I completely point. agree. Yeah. I just am I'm wondering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if he crushes the Suicide Squad, goes and does Guardians of the Galaxy, it opens, it's going to open before Volume 3, it blows up, and everybody's like, James Gunn, I can't wait What's for Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, it's right there. Really and the Warner Brothers is like, great, we're going to do a sequel. <laughs> You're coming back after Guardians of Gal- the uh, Volume 3. I mean, it's like yeah. everybody sure, wins, I yeah. feel like. Unless, he's, unless his contract, you know, he like, that's why a lot of times these these movies lock people up right away. You 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 signed on for the sequel. Like Peyton Reed was, he did Ant Man. He was signed on for Ant Man. Yeah, too. but I don't know if you can sign James Gunn to that off the bat. Maybe, but he might have said no. Right. I'll do one I'm movie because he has right. more clout. And those movies yet are getting the DC movies are getting back to the swing of things and there's not and it's not like a connected universe like this one is to where it's like no 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 we need you to come back because this is the, we're serialized we showed you all these other movies that have worked before and Marvel has has that to, to do so you might be right yeah and it, after yeah. sorry Riley after everything that happened with Snyder I know that uh, Jeff Snyder mm, uh, oh yeah. No, Zach. Uh, they only had Patty Jenkins for one movie. That's why it took so long for us to hear that she was coming yeah. out on Wonder Woman 2 because they had to renegotiate. Right, I, right, I believe right. that one was the same situation, yeah. um, that he was signed on to one. I'm sure he will be doing the second one, but I think that they are more focused on these one hit.